Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So we finally finished our upgrade to Town Hall 7, and we have a lot of stuff to build. Like I talked about, this is one of the biggest jumps in the game. You get a lot of new content, including a new Dark Elixir drill, which they just added in with the new update. So previously, you had to be Town Hall 8 to get the new Dark Elixir drill, but they moved it to Town Hall 7 to help out with the Barbarian King, which I really like. And uh, let's go ahead and start building some of the buildings that we've got, because we have a lot to build today. So we built the storage. Let's Let's go ahead and build the dark elixir drill those are both going to help out a lot and then let's go ahead and take a look at what else we can build we can't do the barbarian king obviously just yet and again we're not going to gem the king we're going to farm up all the dark elixir that we can but let's take a look at the army and see what else we got at town hall 7. so new army camp which is amazing a new barracks which is awesome we got the king right there that costs 10,000 dark elixir and then on the very right hand side we have the dark barracks so definitely want to build the army camp and again the first army camp like level one army camp gives you 20 more spaces which is ridiculous and that's the only time in the game you get 20 spaces for like the upgrade you get 20 for level one 10 for level two additional and then you only get five additional for the levels after that so you definitely want to upgrade it to level two as soon as possible and let's go ahead and focus on some of these defenses so we have a lot of defenses we have the new hidden teslas we have the new seeking air mines giant bombs two cannons an archer tower and a bunch of walls and let me just build all these walls on the very top and then today i'll try to focus on upgrade Upgrading some of those guys so usually when I upgrade my town hall if you guys have seen in previous videos I build all the buildings on the outside and I sort of just space them out and then after that I try to upgrade as much as I can I try to get the walls up to speed and then I redesign my base so I'm thinking we should be able to get the walls to like level 5 today and then after that maybe in the next video we can start working on the other walls to level 6 and then after that hopefully we'll have most of the buildings built and we can go ahead and redesign my base all right, so one builder available right now, and I would build that cannon. I'm also going to build that second cannon right here. And then as I fast forward just a little bit, one minute later, I can build some more buildings, and let's go ahead and take care of those. Again, usually my line of buildings is only like four or five new things, but at Town Hall 7, it's almost going from like end to end or a corner to the other corner. So it's pretty crazy how much content we're getting in this uh, boost of our Town Hall. All right, so Archer Tower is being built. Going to go ahead and build two of these bombs. We do have another builder available. We could do the air defense or the mortar. Obviously, I'm going to pick that mortar right there. And uh, we're still not done with all the stuff we need to build. We still have two hidden Teslas. We still have that air defense. So if we actually build everything we got at Town Hall 7, it would have gone from that right corner all the way up to the top and maybe even started stretching out even more. So lots of new content. It's going to take me a while to level most of that stuff up from level one, but I'll probably just do that off camera. And uh, let's go ahead and do some raids, see if we can get some resources, and then I'll spend most of it at the end of this episode so taking a look at the bases obviously you guys can see at town hall 7 this is still a really really prime spot to find resources i'm definitely going to be finding bases like this all the time in fact at town hall 8 you're still going to find a ton of good bases at town hall 9 that's when you won't be able to attack town hall 7s and below because you get a crazy loot penalty um, but until then we should have find a lot of resources and let's go ahead and start with this base right here so it looks like there's a pretty good mix between the mines and pumps as well as the storages so i'm going to attack the storage on the bottom right hand side and just because it only had one layer of wall and uh, that's just because because I only think I brought like three wall breakers, which was a little bit weird. And then after I take care of these elixir pumps on the top, should be good to go because I don't really think we're gonna make ourselves too far into the base. All right, so dropping some barbarians and archers. I thought I would drop a couple more troops just to take care of some of these mortars over here. And uh, it looks like I might be able to shoot over the top to get to that elixir storage, but that gold storage, which I'm really looking forward to because that will help me upgrade my walls, is sort of tucked away. And I'm not sure if we're exactly gonna be able to get that. All right, so dropping some troops right now. I was hoping the wall breaker would be smart and go towards that intersection. Unfortunately not. He's going to go for that empty compartment. And then as my troops run in, I should have some archers shoot over the top. And uh, let's see exactly how many resources we steal. So we've already stolen over 10,000 just from those archers. So definitely worth it. We're going to get a lot from that storage. Might not be able to take it out altogether due to that cannon, but we could get awfully close. And uh, yeah, looks like we're actually be able, be able to take that down. And we're only going to have the gold storage left. And uh, maybe we can take a couple shots at it. So overall, pretty good raid. Didn't really expect to get three stars. I sort of attacked for the resources and nothing else. And uh, as my archers take a couple of shots, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward from there. And uh, they got me a pretty good amount of gold. I think it was somewhere like 200 gold per shot at least. So uh, pretty good. And let's go ahead and wrap it up for this raid. So looking at what we got, we got 240,000 gold, 210,000 elixir, and looking at our storages, we already have 1.5 million gold, so I think it's a good idea to go back to base, upgrade a couple of our walls, and then we can get back to battle and try to steal some more resources. So I do have one builder available. Usually when I raid like this, I try to keep one builder free just in case I want to upgrade some walls, and especially when I have level ones like these, I'm going to upgrade these pretty quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and knock those guys out. 
all right so upgrading those twice I'm gonna upgrade the same row right here and you can see that one on the very left got upgraded four times so I'm gonna take that one out and uh, upgrade the rows one more time and I can't tell you guys how nice it is to have the upgrade all walls feature like this was something in the beginning of the game that I asked for forever I don't remember how long it's been out for now I just remember how painful it was having to upgrade those level one walls and uh, it was so annoying trying to tap like 75 of those at once now you just click a row you click twice and they're all upgraded and uh, it's so much easier and it, it just makes a lot more sense before at like town hall 7 you or town hall 10 you get like 25 new walls at level one and you'd have to go one by one and upgrade 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 so it's super nice to just click the rows and upgrade them and i think by the end of this episode we should be able to upgrade those guys one more time all right, so looking at this next base here, this guy has 250,000 gold and over 300,000 elixir, and he's only Town Hall 5. That's just insane. It uh, it just makes me so sad for my Chief Pat 2 account. I'm going to keep raiding anyways. I decided to go for three stars on this guy's base since he did only have one mortar and one wizard tower. So it looks like most of my troops are going into the center. And as an insurance policy, I'm going to drop some goblins and wall breakers up top just to break through and to steal those gold mines in case anything went terribly wrong. But it doesn't look like anything's going wrong. Mortar's going down in the center. There is only that wizard tower, which is distracted by my giant. So this should be a pretty simple three star because I know the archer tower and the cannons aren't going to be able to destroy all those troops that quickly. So things are looking pretty good. And as far as resources go, I'm already back at 1.5 million gold and 1.3 million elixir because before this, I actually attacked a lot of freebies. And if you guys haven't heard me talk about freebies before, freebies are pretty much the bases where the mines and pumps are on the outside. And uh, they might only have like 200 to 250,000 combined resources. But if you only have to drop like 20 to 30 goblins to get all of it, it's definitely worth it. Even if you end up losing maybe like 20 trophies because you can always gain trophies back super easily. And that's what I did for the last couple of raids. And in the end, I got a lot of profit. And uh, for this raid, I got even more. I got 250,000 gold, 314,000 elixir, 20 trophies, and uh, things are looking pretty good solid. And let's go ahead and attack one more base. So for this guy here, 166,000 gold, 156,000 elixir. It looks like it's sort of a mix between the mines and pumps. So I'm going to click search one more time. And this guy's base looks a lot better. And we should be able to steal a lot from those gold mines and elixir pumps. There is a little bit inside of the gold storages. If you look at that one on the left of the town hall, but uh, let me go ahead and attack, see how, what we can do. And I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out. All right, so dropping a couple troops right there. I think I'm just going to go for the outside. I really don't freak, feel like breaking in the center to this one, so I'm just going to drop some giants and some goblins. And I think I will try to go for 50% on this base because I did attack so many freebies. And uh, let's go ahead and see what happens towards the end of this raid. So we're sitting at 29%. I'm going to take care of this gold mine right here. A couple more barbarians and goblins, 31%. There are some freebies on the outside, like that barracks and uh, the Spell Factory and Builder's Hut. So if I take care of a couple more of those guys, we should be able to get an easy 50%. That way I don't lose any more trophies. I just want to make sure that I'm somewhere around 1,000 trophies. I don't want to drop too far. And I don't think I've passed 1,250 yet, which gives me 450 free gems. So I'll probably do that in a future episode. And uh, let's go ahead and take care of a couple more of these buildings. All right, so 49%. 52%, 54%, and uh, yeah, that'll do for this raid. Over 400,000 resources stolen, and let's go ahead and head back to base, do the upgrades, and that will wrap it up for this episode. So really, really good bases today. Even though we upgraded our town hall, and technically we will have a loot penalty for attacking like town hall fives and below, we found a lot of really good bases. We found like town hall sixes, town hall sevens, and the things look pretty good. And let's go ahead and upgrade the walls on the top left and then on the bottom left. So all of our walls are going to be upgraded to level 5, so that's awesome, as well as for my spell factory. I was thinking about upgrading that, but in the end, I decided we would do my laboratory, because like I've talked about in previous videos, I think that's one of the most important things to upgrade when you upgrade your town hall. So 500,000 to upgrade that, we're going to be able to get our level 4 troops. And then after that one's done, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward a couple of seconds until my barracks is done. And then we have one more builder to use uh, to either build a new building or do one of the upgrades on our previous things. So I thought about doing an army camp upgrade. Again, like I talked about earlier, um, you do get 10 additional spots for upgrading it to level two, which is pretty crucial. But instead, I decided I would upgrade my dark barracks because that's a three day upgrade. I'm sort of just going to get that out of the way. And then during the rest of the week, I'm going to focus on upgrading a lot of those small buildings. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up this episode. Again, Town Hall 7 is pretty insane. You get a lot of new stuff. I'm pretty glad I upgraded most of those walls in this first episode. And definitely after we build a couple more buildings, we'll be able to redesign our base. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.